All aboard the train at the end of the world. Join me on an epic first class journey through one of the southernmost regions on the globe, Ushuaia, Argentina. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how much the train costs, what delicious foods you'll eat, learn about the railroad's wild past, and give you tips on how to make the most of your experience. So grab a snack because our adventure starts right now. Buenos dias, lovers, and welcome to the end of the world. We finally touched down here in Ushuaia, and it used to be the southernmost city in the world, but I think a place in Chile actually takes that title now. But if we go any more south, we're gonna hit Antarctica. Super excited to take you all around the city, show you everything that can be done here. We're gonna go into the mountains, we're gonna go into Patagonia, we're gonna go into national parks. But I think today I'm most excited for any adventure I've been on in a long time because we are about to take a train ride to the end of the world. That's right, woke up super early, crushed some breakfast at the hostel. Now we are on our way to the train station. No idea what the cost of a ticket is, no idea what it entails, but can't wait to take you along with us. Before we dig into today's episode, please kindly hit that like and subscribe button so you can follow all of my adventures around the world. And without further ado, it's time to wake up and let's go. It is a cold, overcast, and drizzly morning here in Ushuaia. The forecast says it's gonna rain for the next, oh, I don't know, about 700 days. Hopefully we get some clear skies. Super excited to take the drone out here and get some great footage. Lindsay, besides the train to the end of the world, what are you most excited about here in Ushuaia? I am excited for Penguin Island. Yes, Penguin Island. That's coming up in just a few days. All right, so our first piece of advice, we foolishly thought we could just walk from the center of town to the train station. Uh, that was false. It's about a two hour walk if you want to commit to that. Otherwise, you're going to want to take a cab, uh, but the cabs aren't easily found all around town. So you're going to want to stick to San Martin Street. That's the busy street. That's where you're going to find most of the cabs. All right, we have arrived at the train station. The cab ride was about 20 minutes, but it had some epic views you got some stellar stellar shots of these mountains in the background here we got to see a lot of like farms a lot of like horses on the way so a very very entertaining taxi ride but now the show really begins let's go here to get our tickets uh, from what I understand there's about three different class levels here uh, there's the base level and then there's the mid-tier level and there's the first class level uh, normally I would go for the cheapest level uh, just because as a budget backpacker try to save the most money as possible and try to show y'all how to save a lot of money uh, but you know I had a tough year last year and I kind of feel like treating myself a little bit so we're gonna take a look here and see what we got okay we've got uh, the, the tourist class it looks like that's about uh, $25. Well, that's only if you're a kid. We, then we've got the superior, premium superior. Looks like you get some sort of sandwich. That's about $50 a person. We're, ooh, <laughs> we're eyeballing this one. The class A premium. Premium class, first class. Look at this. Looks like you get wine, champagne, some sort of like stew. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. A calendar. And let's see the total cost of that about eleven thousand six hundred and fifty. So it'll put us right in the sixty seventy dollar range. All right, so the total cost after everything was settled, we paid for the train ticket, and then we had to pay for a ticket to get into Tierra del Fuego National Park. Altogether, it was about 12,500 Argentinian pesos. On the blue dollar rate in US dollars, that comes out to about sixty dollars per person. And we got free chocolate. Of course, any good tourist attraction will have a gift shop. You know what? I'm actually stocked up on train keychains, train coffee mugs, and, and things like that. So we're going to skip uh, the souvenir sales. It looks like there's also some sort of museum in here. Learn about, uh, learn a little bit about the history of the railroad. Cool, cool. Oh, check this out. Wow. Mickey Mouse was actually a passenger on the railroad. Wait, is, is this... It's, what's going on here? There's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of Mickey Mouse. All right, tickets have been acquired and the sun is coming out. They then came around to ask us what we wanted to eat and drink. Check this out. We get three beverages and then an entree. Not gonna spoil what we ordered until we get on the train, but ooh, it sounds like we're gonna maybe have a little bit of a buzz uh, on this train. It sounds like our bellies are gonna be super full. Uh, got about 45 minutes until the train boards. So just gonna walk around, taking some of the sights, some of the history. I mean, these, 
views are stunning. What is that? We've got, it looks like people are actually camping over there. There's some tents set up. All right, so based on everything you get, first class kind of seemed like a no-brainer. The, the price drop-offs between the other classes, it just felt a lot more justifiable to get a meal and to get some drinks. Uh, but one other reason though, check this out right behind me. That's the line for the other classes, super, super long. I think that line actually stretches back to Buenos Aires. But here's the first class line. Nobody else in it, just me and Lindsay. First class, the way to go. Can't relate to that line. The train's coming, the train's coming. Ah! All right, it's finally time to board. We've been told to wait here. Right, check this out, it looks like we get some sort of audio tour as well. Which is great because I felt like the museum left a lot to be desired in terms of like things you could read. Uh, it's really good idea for the history here. So hopefully the audio tour is going to cue us in. Hola. Hola. Uh, Are you English? English. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a funny picture here. Okay. You can take off your mask. Great. And the next stop you'll be able to see it, okay guys? Awesome. And they're prisoners because this used to be a penal colony, right? Exactly. Awesome. That's Thank you right. so much. Bye bye. Awesome. Bye bye. Thank you guys. Bye. Shout out to our prisoner friends here. Okay, so this area used to be a penal colony. If you don't know what a penal colony is, it's essentially a place where they send prisoners to do work. That's one of the big historical aspects here. That's why there's a lot of people dressed up like prisoners that you can take pictures with. We're from the United States. Oh, right, okay. We're really far away from here. Yeah. Very far away. We're actually from the Midwest, so All right. right under Canada. So we had to travel a really, really long way to get oh here. Oh my God, oh, that's yeah. really long. All right, guys, do you remember what you ordered? Really I did, yes. Uh, I, we got the lentil stew, yeah. and then we got uh, 16 beers and three bottles of wine. All right, perfect. Uh, three bottles of wine? I'm, I'm no, kidding, we only got one. Oh, one all right. Each. Okay, so guys, these two are your tables, all right? Perfect. It's one table per person, okay? Oh, it looks lovely. It's so cool. Okay. Gracias. Chicos, ustedes en primera clase. Oh, yeah. So dope. Wow, all right, here we are in our first class cabin. We each get our own seat. Let's take a look at the, the spread we're working with here. So I told you that we ordered a few cocktails. Okay, hold up, it looks like the, the entree is on the way as well. But to start it off, we've got, uh, I went with a blonde ale, a little cerveza, and we've got a little champagne to celebrate with. I understand that there may be some coffee on the way too, okay. Hello, hello, oh, a little bread basket dropping in. Nice. All right, the food is dropping in, starting to arrive. We've got a cappuccino cafe called Leche, and then we went with the lentil stew. We're gonna give a full breakdown here what everything tastes like. They hooked us up with a bread basket. We've also got some souvenirs here. Used to be some sort of like memo notepad. Okay, that's going in Lindsay's purse. Uh, what else do we got here? Not sure what this is. Product uh, Producto de la Patagonia. Let's rip it open like a savage and get in there. Oh, okay. Little chocolates. Nice. Little white chocolate. Did you get one too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So for each first class ticket, you get your own seat, you get your own meal and you get your own set of souvenirs. I watched a couple of their videos and it looks like there used to be some more souvenirs included here, but uh, times have changed apparently, but excited to tear into those chocolates at the end. This lentil stoop looks amazing. Uh, they also offered empanadas. And what was the other option, Lindsay? A vegetarian wrap. A vegetarian wrap. You know, we've eaten a lot of empanadas uh, and it's super cold, a little chilly, a little rainy, a little drizzly out. We felt some, uh, we felt like some hot stew would be the perfect thing to warm up the belly. That's an insane amount of bread for one person as well. Absolutely stacked. <laughs> All right, we are engaging in some real close quarters combat here. Not a lot of space on the table to film, shoot, and eat, but we're gonna start it off like we do every meal in Argentina with some bread. Ooh, crusty, crunchy, crackly. Dropped it on the floor all part of the game. All right, we're gonna put some of the seasoned butter on the toast to start it off. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a very garlic and herby butter. Nice, nice crunch on that toast. You better believe this other piece of toast is going right in here. 
into the lentil soup. Not sure if you can see it from the angle that we're working with right here. Let's skip ahead. Let's dig right in to the soup. Um, I was corrected. This is actually a lamb and lentil soup. And it looks like there's some pieces of what appear to be chorizo or maybe pepperoni as well. All right, gonna make sure I get a nice big fat first bite. We got some of the lentils, we got some of the lamb, we got some of the sausage. Pow! Mmm, mmm, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Flavor explosion. Okay, that is an incredible soup. Where to begin? All right, the lamb itself, incredibly juicy, really tender, a lot of full flavor to it. Lamb is a pretty fatty meat, but this one tasting super, super lean, really, really nice. The lentils cooked to perfection. It looks like we've got a mix of like a little bit of potatoes and carrots in here as well. Nice little bit of like saltiness from that salami, that chorizo, that sausage in there. This is a really, really good stew. We haven't even taken off yet. Obviously, first class. We're both extremely pleased with our decision to do it. Highly recommend that you take first class uh, when you book this train. I can't imagine traveling any other way on this train. Lindsay, give us a breakdown of the lamb lentil stew. Tell us your thoughts. What are you thinking? It is the perfect meal for today. It's so cold out and it just warms you from the inside out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and the champagne and this beer and this wine, that'll warm us from the inside out as well. Look at this bread basket. This, the, it, it, it's insane. This is so much food. Okay, so we are live on the audio tour right now. I'm not sure if this was only for first class passengers. Uh, it's absolutely deafening. I need to find the volume to turn it down. I think the controls are right above me here. Uh, I'm gonna relay any interesting uh, information that I gather from this, but for now, the soup is amazing. The bread is spectacular. And the view. What more could you want? Okay, big step. All right, we're at the first stop. We only rode the train for, I don't know, eight minutes max maybe. Certainly not enough time to chow down on all that delicious lamb lentil stew. That was, that was, that was insanely good. Blew away my expectations for what kind of food you would get on a train. Wow, check out these views behind us. Nice little waterfall action. Hopefully you guys can now get a, a better idea of what the train looks like in its size and scale. So happy we, we chose first class. Couldn't imagine taking in the lower classes. And you know, the views are great, but that food really, really set things off on a, such, a, such a perfect note. So we've got about 15 minutes to walk around here. There's some other trains coming as well, uh, back and forth. So we're just gonna go walk around and take in the views. Listening to that audio tour, it sounds like that getting sent to the penal colony here was one step below the death penalty back in the day. I'll definitely take the in somewhere. Uh, like here doing manual labor over the death penalty uh, for sure but I, from what i understand a lot of the labor they did here was chopping down trees hauling lumber things of that nature at least let's say a good 100 people on this train with us today all right it started to sprinkle just a little bit so we are sprinting our way up to this viewpoint because we've only got 15 minutes before the train boards again. They said they're gonna ring some horn or some whistle and then it's time to go. Uh, but let's head up here and see what this viewpoint has in store. Okay, it appears we've gotten off to check out a few little waterfalls. Very, very nice. Would be cool to maybe stay here for a couple minutes and soak it all in, but gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Okay, and these are the upper falls you can check out. It only took us maybe less than five minutes to walk up. Uh, to see both, um, but if you're not moving super fast, I don't know, it didn't, just didn't seem like a lot of time to check out waterfalls, 15 minutes, not enough. Oh well, time to go back down. Lindsay, do we even know how long this journey is? Uh, an hour and 45 minutes. An hour and 45 Total. minutes, okay. Well, that means we've got about an hour left now that we've had lunch and, and, and stopped here. Okay, so if you take the first class ticket, you get a complimentary uh, photo with some of the, the prisoner actors out there. How's it looking, Lindsay? Do we look do we look showtime? We we look interesting. We look interesting, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dig that. I think that might be the YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> That's dope. That's what's up. Okay, well, there's a little bit of a disruptance, I guess. The train has perhaps broken down. We saw them working on it, twisting some wrenches. Apparently now there's another train that's pushing us 
all the way in the back there. So we're moving a little slower and a little later, but it's okay because we got wine, we got champagne left, we got beer, and we got about six pieces of bread left too. It's the train to the end of the world as we know it. And I've got wine, I've got wine. All right, Lindsay's about to break it down and give us a little dessert review. Ooh, that thing looks nice. Little Blanco y Negro Chocolate. What are you gonna dig into first? Okay, this is called Lamero. Lamero? Maroc. Maroc? Okay. Big bites only. Oh, it's like fudge. It's fudge. Yeah, fudge. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really good. Really nice. Can I try a bite? No. Ooh. That's fudge. That is fudge. Mega, mega creamy. Super rich, super sweet. That's good chocolate. Nicely done train to the end of the world nicely done but again beyond blown away like the quality of the food here and you saw like how many drinks there were to choose how many other entrees there were i will say these uh these seats are close quarters so i i normally was going to pack a bunch of layers because it's kind of chilly out i, I would have felt super uncomfortable just based on how like tight knit uh the quarters are here so make sure to dress a little bit light i can't imagine uh, if this first class cabin was packed it would probably be a little stifling a little bit uncomfortable really digging the views that we're seeing on the first part of this train ride even though it's kind of overcast it's still incredibly beautiful and breathtaking driving past a variety of like rivers very cool like forest landscapes and of course the mountain backdrop really just brings everything together yo 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 so we're listening to this audio tour right now and it's talking about the prisoners that used to be here in the penal colony there was a guy a serial killer called the big eared midget who killed his entire family definitely want to read more into that guy if there's somebody that deserves a murder podcast yeah somebody named the big eared midget weird Okay, after about an hour, we've reached the end of the train to the end of the world. But it actually ends at the entrance to Tierra del Fuego National Park. Now, because it's raining, we're not going to explore the park. But if you come here and you want to explore the park, you do have to figure out your own way home with a taxi or a guide. <laughs> Gotta say, I expected the train to the end of the world. I was expecting, like, the tracks would end and the train would just fall off a cliff and that would be it. So, minor disappointment that it didn't end like that. Uh, but we're about to just stick on the train. And uh, we're going to head back now and hopefully catch some different views. Here's a sneak peek of what the non-first class uh, cabin looks like. So it looks pretty comfy. Just no place for your food or drink. But yeah, still a good way to see the countryside. And that's that. What an incredibly fun, unique, and delicious experience. I would highly recommend taking that train. I would absolutely say you should go ahead and book first class. I realize $60 might be steep uh, for a lot of people out there, but for the experience, for the food, it was well, well worth it. In the United States, something like that would have cost two, $300. So an absolute no-brainer if you've got a few extra pesos to spend.